Okay, so today we're going to be replacing a big drive. So this is going to supply voltage to the drive. And then we got a little one down here. So now that turned off the controls. And now I'm going to turn off. So we got the input voltage right here. And then this is going to the motor. The wires are coming in here. And this is all still hot up here. So you got to be careful here. But down here, this is shut off. And the power is going through the filter. And then into these three terminals here. I'm going to label those. One, two, three. And it's easy to figure out. I just want to make it a little easier for myself. And then this is brown, orange, yellow. It'll always go in that order, brown, orange, yellow, because this is the 480. So you can't get that one messed up. these marks one that has the black tape on it that's the line so we got the neutral and the line all right this is the card this is what tells it what position on the tower it's at These are for communication. And that is the power right there. Just like that. There we go. So now there's three bolts holding this on. What up top? And two on the bottom, and these are 13 millimeter. And I want to take those out, I just want to loosen them up. And this is just your old fashioned engine hoist. Tight, loose. You want that to be tight. And so this, see this little cut out right here? That's so it can fit in there. And this is going to go in the ends and these holes right here. There's one on each side. back on here and when you're pulling this up you want to make sure that you're not going to catch anything so you got to be a little careful of what you're doing only go up as high as you need to and then you can pull it out okay I'm going to keep the book with it we're going to mark down anything that we did to it. 7, 13, 21. So I'm just going to set this down for right now. Tower 12, D10, so that's 12.7. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna take this one out just like I did with that one, and then uh, I'll show you installing that one over there. So right now I just want to get it to about the right height. I've got 
that one lined up on top. I gotta make sure that I got them lined up on the bottom. So it's lined up, but it's not over the bolt, so I'm gonna lift it. There we go. them up except for this one so this one you could put in one pin off but the rest of these like you know that doesn't go there and it doesn't go there so that one's pretty easy and then the only other one that you could mess up is you could put the wrong card in the wrong side right here but if you just remember the big orange one goes on the right and the two little red ones the fiber optic card goes on the left and you want to make sure that these cards line up with those grooves in there And just push it in and that seats it and then you can tighten these and you got to kind of push and then spin make sure they're nice and seated and this goes here this guy goes here and this one you got to be careful about because you can put it in like this. So just make sure that you're seating it correctly. And the last guy, X4. And some people only tighten up one screw, which is perfectly fine. I always do both, which is also perfectly fine. Whenever this really matters, like if you need to change a DKR out quick, then one of them's bad, but they're still, you know, they got to get the runoff. I only have one, but I still do two. Okay. This is the neutral. Shoot this stab in. This one, of course, the case ground. It's all the way on the right, so it goes all the way on the right. It doesn't matter, you can put it anywhere you want. They're all connected to the same rail. But this is just how we do it. Just want to make sure it's in. Okay. Alright, and this is the motor ground. For a 480, it's Brown, orange, yellow. Get them all stuffed in first. We can plug this one in the back. We want to make sure that that one's seated well. And it can mess you up if it is not properly seated. We'll look, this, these are long, so they'll be sticking out a little bit. But this is okay. You want it to be fairly tight, you definitely don't want it to be loose, because if it's loose, it'll heat up, it'll melt. You don't need to over crank it, because this is just plastic. But over cranking is better than under. And I got these. I'm gonna put them back in. This, it is important that you get the phases right. That shouldn't have happened.
But if you ever don't know if you have the phases right, you can just follow it in here. You can see at the top it says line one, line two, line three. It's coming out the bottom the same way, so you just trace the wire around. Line one, two, three. One, two, three. So you just follow the wire, one, two, three. And then A1 through three is to the motor. So last check, just make sure everything is seated properly. Turn it off. All right. So it says PO. So that means there isn't any problems. We're going to go ahead and activate it. I'm going to go to the motors. So this is the left side. Tower 12 is the one we took out. That one I still haven't put the motor in yet. So I'm going to go to tower 18. Change mode. So you can see PO or phase zero. And this takes a little while. Right, so jump to phase three and operation so that one is ready okay no errors here so I'm gonna go back to the home screen back to 18 reset it again I'm gonna need the hydraulics on let's put this one on now too Tower 18, and we'll time it in. Check the status. I just want to make sure this one in particular that gets the blue line in reference. So these went off, that means it's currently inching. Okay, it went into reference. And that's the one we just did. And that one in the reference too. So this is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven is the one we just did, and then eight is right next to it. But it has to do both of them in order for it to work. But it did. So we got that. It's in reference. It's in mainline mode. The fan is currently on, which doesn't really mean a lot. And standstill means it is done inching. So we're good. I'm going to go back over here. And that is faulted because uh, we don't have anything else in, I think. Oh yeah, okay, it's because the folder's not in. So if I engage the folder, that red line would go away. But for right now, I'm just going to disengage it. So I'm just going to slap the 1 in 12, and I'll be done. And this is what it should look like, A5. So that means no errors, ready to go. And so I did 12, but I'm getting one error, and that, this is probably a good thing to show. So if I hit reset, it won't reset, so I'm going to check the error screen. And this is what I'm getting. Time relay, not close. So the way I'm going to fix that is I'm going to go slap the stop button, and then I'll come back and reset it. And so this is the couple. All right, this is D10. I'm just going to wait about 30 seconds. and reset there we go so let's time it in okay so we're good there And we're going on 12.8 as well. Should go into mainline mode. And it did, so we're good. I'm just curious. Let's engage that because it did fire an error. We'll see what it was. DKR not ready for powering. Yeah, so that's the problem it was giving on 18.7 and it's still doing it on 12.7. So all we got to do now is find out if 18.7 is running better now. And if it is, then we know that's what the problem is.